Hi everyone, welcome to Corbion Talks at the Q122 States. Um, my name is Tana Massar, I'm with Corbion Communications, and with me are Olivier Rigaud, our CEO, and Marcel Wobbles, our Chief Science and Sustainability Officer. Welcome, gentlemen. First of all, Olivier, what is your, Olivier, what is your overall feeling looking back at the first quarter of the year? Hi, Tano. So, yeah, we just delivered a very strong quarter uh, with above 20% organic growth, and we've been able to uh, improve our profitability back to, of course, our depressed margin on the second half of last year, now to above 12.5% EBITDA. So very nice recovery on that front as well. That, that is really great to hear. So, Marcel, very good progress in the business. Um, but we always say safety first at Corbion. So where are we on that journey? No, it's a very important question, uh, Tano. We, uh, we started already uh, two years ago with a safety program and we have now enhanced that even with a behavior-based uh, safety program. And we really want to have a culture change there. And we're also uh, uh, focusing on process safety. And we already see uh, tremendous progress happening there right now, which is not uh, untrivial in a, in a times where there's a lot of uncertainty and things uh, going on outside the company. Uh, like, uh, like, of course, the pandemic, but also, as we know, the whole world is in turmoil. And that also uh, is very important to keep us focused on that safety. Okay, good. Olivier, if you zoom in to the results of the different business units, could you give me a little bit of uh, visibility there, how we're doing? So we are doing very well across the three BUs. So uh, in uh, food solution, basically we are the growth driven by price increase primarily. Right. However, we see a very strong momentum into our functional system business. So we have more and more solutions on mold inhibition, on uh, improving freshness as well. So very strong momentum there as well on top of the pricing. So on the lactic acid and specialties there, I mean, uh, usual categories as uh, the pharma industry, the electronics are really pulling very nicely as well in terms of volume. And not to forget the lactic acid to PLA where the joint venture we have together with Total Energy is still on a very strong foothold. So growing very nicely as well there. And of course, to, uh, to end, we have our algae business, mm -hmm. where we've, uh, I mean, again, uh, developed the business very strongly, and we are benefiting from new contract for this uh, year 2022. And not just in the aquaculture, we also benefit from a very nice momentum into pet nutrition, which is adding, of course, to the portfolio we have in, uh, in algae. So very good prospect there as well. Great developments in the business. Marcel, you're looking after uh, innovation, obviously, for Corbion. I think in, in lactic acid and specialties, we have particularly strong growth in biomaterials that is really underpinned by innovation, right? Yeah, that's true. In, uh, in biomaterials, we supply uh, products that, uh, that are being used in, uh, in uh, drug delivery and also in, uh, in, in orthopedics. Mm -hmm. And what you see there is that we have seen record growth this quarter, and that's really very nice. It is also a bit of the result of the fact that we had uh, some postponement of elective surgery during the COVID period. Mm -hmm. Now that is picking up, and our teams are really doing their best to make this happen. So it really requires delivery of high-quality medical materials at, uh, at high volumes, and, and we are very good at that. That's great. Nice innovation. And, and, and what else is happening in that area of your, of your, uh, your innovation portfolio? <clears throat> We're doing quite a bit of things on, on process innovation, eh? so okay. we're improving our current processes, and that is true for the algae business, but it's also true for our lactic acid production and other uh, uh, organic assets that we're making. And on the other end, we're, we're involving also a lot of uh, resources on product innovation, and we're looking at natural malt inhibitors where we have some really new uh, developments going on there, and, uh, and we're also looking at feedstock flexibility. In these times, you really have to have a flexible front end of your processes to be able to meet the market needs. Great. And innovation uh, at, at different fronts for yep. Corbion. Um, Olivier, the, <laughs> we don't like to mention it, but the pandemic still plays a role in, 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 in today's world. Um, uh, so, so where are we if you look at the world of Corbion? So, of course, um, although the pandemic is, I mean, again, uh, looking better mm. in a way, we still face, as everyone, supply disruptions, mm. uh, you know, uh, sourcing disruption, yeah. so, so we are not immune to that. Uh, so far, the team have been doing an outstanding job because we had no big disruption. Mm. So we've been able to serve our customers and, and make sure that we have business continuity. But it's true that, of course, uh, we see a lot of disruption still. We are still operating in a very volatile environment. And I want to thank really the Corbion employees across the globe, you know, to uh, secure business continuity because so far we've been uh, doing pretty well on that front despite all these challenges. Okay. That, that, that is really good to hear. Then, Marcel, besides innovation, sustainability is a key part of your uh, remit. Um, 
we have a strong purpose, preserve what matters. So w what is the update on sustainability for Corbion at this moment? Well, there are a couple of things. So we've signed up for the science-based targets initiative. Yeah? So we're really uh, making sure that we have uh, greenhouse gas emission reductions in our company. Yeah? We, we promised to, uh, to reduce that by 33% in 2030. And we're making good progress there. And we're even thinking of, uh, of making our, our targets maybe a little bit more ambitious. On the other hand, we also have the science, the United Nations SDGs, yeah? 2, 3, and, and 12, where we, we have basically adopted and also we make sure that all of our innovations are actually supporting one of those three SDGs. Okay, very clear focus there uh, as well. Finally, Olivier, to you, I would like to ask, so, so what is your, 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 your message, you know, looking at the rest of the year, where we are now and, and what's ahead? So the first priority is, of course, I mean, keeping our organization safe. Uh, COVID is still not over. Mm. So uh, that's, I think, still the primary focus we have across the organization. The second, obviously, is our margin recovery. And uh, we are still, I mean, again, working very hard to restore our profitability. So that's, I mean, again, in the coming month and quarters, still a very strong area of focus. Obviously, at the same time, we continue our journey in terms of innovation, in terms of generating pipeline to secure mm. longer term a profitable growth. And uh, as Marcel just highlighted, do that in without compromising uh, our sustainability, you know, uh, uh, drive. So this is, I mean, where we are today and what we are focusing on. Thank you very much, gentlemen, for this update. Thank you for watching Corbion Talks, and till the next time. Thank you.